Good afternoon everybody, it's science time, this is Mrs Edwards, that's Tuesday the 12th of January So can you please make sure you write the date nice and neatly and underline it with a ruler, remember presentation perfect So here are some of our vocab that we started looking at last week We're going to be focusing on um, three specific words this week and um, you will find them out shortly so let's just recap first, okay? So last week we talked about what is light. So can you name some things that give out light? How does light help us to see? What do you think dark is? So they are the important things for the star. Now then, dark. We talked about dark last week. Dark is the absence of light. So dark is when there is absolutely no light source whatsoever. You think about the time when times when it's dark or places where it's dark. What light sources are absent or switched off? So what light sources are not there? Can we see in the dark? If there is an absence of light, can we see? Okay. So today we are going to be investigating, can we always see light? And this is our success criteria that we're working on from in school. And you will notice I said that there's three very important words that we're going to be discussing today. And there they are. And yes, Mrs Edwards has just noticed that it says the 11th and not the 12th on the success criteria. So. I want you to imagine you've got these three objects and if I held a light behind these three objects which would show no light through, which would show a little bit of light through and which would show lots of light through. So imagine you are holding this glass window here, I know it to be heavy but use your imagination, a plastic glass and a banana. One of them would show no light through it whatsoever so if I shone a torch the other side of the three things one of them would just show a little bit of light and one of them would show lots of light. You worked it out? So, yes, you are right if you said you can't see anything at all through the banana. You can see a little bit of light through the, the coloured window and you'd see all the light through the see-through cup. All things can be classified by how much light they let through them. They can be classified as transparent, translucent and opaque. Now, they are three very important words this week. So if something is transparent, it means that light can pass completely through it and you can see clearly through it. And the example they've given here is a pair of glasses. If you shone a torch through a pair of glasses, you would see all of the light come straight through it. And that is transparent. If something is translucent, that means some of the light passes through it, but the light gets scattered so you can't see clearly through it. And the example they've given here is a bit of scrumfled up coloured tissue paper. We would still see the torch coming through, but it wouldn't be straight and focused as it would be with the glasses there, would it? OK. And then the last example is opaque. And if something is opaque, that means no light can pass through it whatsoever. It totally blocks the light. And the example they've given here is the toy box. So let's just go back. Transparent means that light can pass completely through it. Translucent means that some light passes through it. And opaque means no light can pass through it. So I'd like you to take a little moment now, pause the video. There are our three words. I would like you to tell me in a phrase. So I'm not asking for a full sentence. I'm asking for a phrase. Transparent. If something is transparent, does that mean all the light passes through, some of the light passes through or none of the light passes through? And then I'd like you to repeat it for translucent. And then I'd like you to repeat it for opaque. So. For one of them, you're going to write all the light passes through. For one of them, you're going to write some of the light passes through. And another one, you're going to write none of the light passes through. Pause the video and write me those three definitions now, please.
Okay, welcome back. So let's just have a little look at my pictures. I want you to have a think now and have a little look. A window, transparent, translucent or opaque. Well, you can see clearly through a window, can't you? So we know that a window is transparent. Glasses, well, they were an example earlier, weren't they? Also transparent. A book. Would I be able to see any light if I passed a, a torch the other side? No, I wouldn't, would I? So that means that a book is opaque. Ice cubes. Now you think about a frozen ice cube. Would the light pass through it straight with no problems or would it get separated off and it wouldn't be as bright? Which means that ice cubes are translucent. Because remember, transparent means you can see through it perfectly clearly. Translucent means you can see a little bit of the light coming through and opaque means absolutely none of the light. A glass jar. Well, as long as the glass jar is empty, it is transparent, isn't it? If there was jam in it, then it would become translucent because the jam would then stop us seeing through clearly, wouldn't it? A coat. Well, that looks like a nice warm coat for January. A coat would definitely be opaque. You would not be able to see any light through it. A light shade is translucent because you would see some of the light coming through. An apple, an apple would be opaque because if I held a torch on this side of the apple, you would not be able to see the light on the other side. However, with a sheet of paper, you would be able to see some of the light through it, wouldn't you? If you're not sure about that, hold a piece of paper up to a light in your house and see you'll see the light coming through, which means it's translucent. And then a table, well, this table is made of wood by the look of it and wood is definitely opaque. You cannot see through wood. Obviously, if the table was made of see-through plastic, that would change it. But the wooden table would be opaque. OK, so I'm now going to ask you to complete this sorting activity. You can either just write the names of the things in the boxes or if you want to cut and stick them, you can cut and stick them. It is entirely up to you. So here are 12 things. There are 12 things here and I would like you to decide which one each of these goes into. Is it transparent? Is it opaque? Or is it translucent? 12 things. Off you go. Pause the video. OK, I hope you got on really well with that. I'm looking forward to marking this work for you later. If you've completed it correctly, you should have four in each of the sections now, OK? So you should have four in transparent, four in translucent and four in opaque. OK, right then. So to finish our science lesson today, let's discuss why, why we can see light through some of these things and then we can't through others. Remember about what I told you earlier about how light travels. So I'd like you to finish today by telling me we can see light travel through objects best of all because the ob They are see through full stop light cannot be oh hello seen through <laughs> objects as the light cannot travel 
Boohoo! It. There we go. So can you finish that off for me? Think about the key words we've used. Think about what we have said already. OK, my lovelies, that's the end of today's science lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will be talking all about these words at the beginning of next week's. OK, stay safe, everyone. Bye bye.